hey guys welcome back to a new video in this video i'll be showing you on how to use the sequencer and blend your gameplay character into it somewhat like this so it's a smooth blend and you have great camera movement amazing for combat moves you can see uh, so yeah hope you guys will enjoy this video and let's dive right into it All right, so let's start. Uh, so, already prepared this uh, sequencer. Uh, no camera, nothing. I've just arranged the animation. Uh, so, nothing much. Just uh, placed animation of both the characters. I'll just quickly show you guys my scene setup. So, only thing I have is one enemy pawn, nothing else, and. So what I did is inside my sequencer, I you click on the enemy pawn and just to add actor track. Uh, sorry, it's already added. So probably add actor track and add your enemy. Uh, for the player character, it's a bit tricky. What you need to do is drag in your player character and bring him inside and then arrange it so that's all i did um, so now we if you have your scene set up and everything now we will continue with the camera and other important binding part so first thing i'll do is let's just Play it and see what happens. So first thing what I'll do is inside my begin play, I'll get a reference to my cinematic inside a level blueprint and just play this player. So I'll just show you guys how it is currently. So I play, you can see. This happens, there are two players, there's no camera, after that, everything's fine. So this is not what we need, so now let's fix that. Uh, first things first, uh, let's add some camera. So I'll add a new cinematic camera actor, add it here and add camera so you have your camera cut now so i just do a simple camera animation for now so So let's just do some simple animation. So when he goes, we can just do something like this. Let's test it how it is. So here we can just do simple, just simple animations. see just come back up so it's like a fake camera shake which we are doing so as you can see and if you want what I'll do is I'll cut this camera over here and add a new camera probably somewhere here let's add that camera and over here you select that and just do so now if you see you have this it switches over here you can just do it right now let's now let's adjust this camera So 
Okay, just start from here and add a key to transform. So this is where it starts from. We need to change the focus. something like this and if you feel it's too fast that's what I feel if you can see you can just drag this keyframe to slow down the speed and again let's add a fake camera shake to do it quick Down. and always keep checking and then as soon as we grab the hand we cut this and switch back to our first camera let's do this and now from here Another transform so it's same and just wait just do something like this okay it's too fast just drag your key frame a bit Think that's just fine. We we'll just check the overall. Uh, okay, that looks pretty cool, I think. Okay, so uh, next thing what we want to do is now have our player character play this so besides your third person character or whatever your player character is actually right click that and if you come to tags just type player and click on this plus sign and see now this belongs to the player tag all right so now you can close your sequencer and what we will do is trigger this by a trigger box so I'll add a trigger box over somewhere here let's say and now inside my level blueprint we can remove this from begin play and do on begin overlap we will do bp underscore third person character in other actor and add a do once node okay now first thing we will need to bind our player so take the reference of your cinematic sequencer and do set binding by tag so the binding tag will be clear for actors do make array and you can connect this third person over here once you've done that we'll do uh, we'll do the play connect this let's test it out there's your go here and as you can 
see okay but now he's back up and you can see it is again not too smooth i would say open up your cinematic first thing let's fix the enemy getting up so inside the animation if you right click and go to properties uh, you will find a thing called men finished it is usually project default change that to keep state okay now let's do the camera uh, right click and uh, actually I need ah, okay right click on camera cuts and select can blend and now once you've done that if you see you can drag this from the corner somewhat like this and now let's see how it turns out so and yeah but again you can see the player is going back behind it's not this original location so let's fix that next for that again open up your sequencer so this can be a problem because if you can see my animation the it's a mixama animation so there's no root if you have a root animation this becomes way easier so all right first thing uh, you can do is once this is done so, so this is what's happening the player is coming back over here so and then back here one thing we can do is uh, in transform for your third person character right click and go into edit track sorry edit section and again when finished we'll do keep state so it's going to move here instead and now since we have root motion this is the max we can do i'll play and we'll check all right that is fine so if you have a blending animation in between this will be even smoother you can increase the blend a bit more probably if you can do something like this and now let's check all right perfect so we don't have a smooth idle animation that's why it's cutting but yeah I think that's good for this video and yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video do subscribe if you like uh, thanks